right, I think I'll get us started. Well, first of all, may I offer an official Google welcome to all of you. You are extremely welcome here. Um, it's, it's an honor, it's inspiring to have so many awesome people here. So welcome. Welcome to uh, the headquarters of Google Europe, Middle East and Africa. My name is David Snedden. I'm one of the site leads here. And it's my honor to, to welcome you here. Now, can I just start? You're probably thinking, English accent, he just got off the boat slash plane. How actually being here, this will be strange. I've actually been here for 25 years. But, but I don't know what it is. I just haven't picked up the accent at all. I'm married to a Galway girl. I've got a son called Patrick, for God's sake. So anyway, so in, in as much as somebody with this accent can be one of this community, I'm trying my very, very hardest. So, as I said, an official Google welcome here. Um, I've got lots of welcomes. First of all, a huge welcome to Minister Brown, Minister of State for the Department of Justice and Equality. He'll be on in a couple of minutes. Um, welcome to the inspiration for today's event, Shona Cahill, um, Public Affairs and Comms Manager at Goshka, and of course, Siobhan Cafferty, um, Implementation Manager at Pobal, leading the Working to Change Strategy and Initiative. I'd also like to offer a very warm welcome to Sinead Gibney, who just reminded me she's an ex-Googler. You are extremely welcome back. It's great to have you here again. Um, and actually, I really want to, and I'm look, deliberately looking at the camera now, this event is not being live streamed, but it is being recorded. And it's being recorded for the, the, by the probation service for the Prison TV channel. And I'd like to extend a welcome to everybody in the room, as I just did, but also everybody who's not here in the room, but maybe watching this on playback. You're extremely welcome too. Um, I think today's event is about a vision for change in society and, being more, and creating more inclusive workplace environment for everybody. Uh, and that includes you as well. So you are very welcome as well. So just a brief introduction to Google Island. So we're, you're on the 11th floor of what we call Google Docs. Obviously because we're in the Dockland area. Uh, this building was uh, opened in 2000 11 and is one of 19 buildings that Google owns or operates here in the here in the region primarily in our, in our Barrow Street campus and you can see a lot of the buildings up and down the road here uh, occupied by Googlers and then we have a, we have some other spaces in Grand Canal Dock in East Point Business Park and also towards Rings End too um, there are now nearly 6,000 Google full-time employees here and about four or 5,000 third parties or very close partners that we work with as well. So just over 10,000 people in total. We've been here for just over 20 years. Uh, and uh, this is actually the largest business site for Google in the world outside of California. And that is a, hopefully an indication of Google's commitment to the area, com commitment to this region uh, and commitment to the city. And being part of this community uh, is really important to us. I think in the past, maybe we had the reputation of, of not being able to reach out into the community. But I'm now going to embarrass one of my colleagues here by asking you all just to turn uh, right and to my colleague, Teresa Weaver here, who's our community engagement manager. Yes, please, a huge round of applause. personally incredibly inspired by the work that she's been encouraging us to do to be kind of you know despite these big buildings to be a much better member of the community so I'm really so and I do believe Teresa you'll be up on stage later so you'll be able to get to see her as well so why are we here today well look many, first of all many of you are members of the employers forum so you have an interest in this area and you know you're open to recruiting people with criminal histories you're, you're open to changing the dialogue in this in this particular space Indeed, Google has an explicit policy of not excluding anybody with a criminal history. It doesn't make it, unfortunately, easy to get into Google, but that's the other part of today, which of course is about skills and skill development. So I think it's a, it's a great event, because I think it marries both of those agendas, both an openness, but also actually a skill development. And I think it's really, I think that's, uh, that's really inspiring. And I'd, I'd actually like to challenge all the employers here in the room to actually take the same approach too because we have a tremendous opportunity to, to be more inclusive. I'd also like to encourage us to think about how we can prepare people in prison or on probation with the best chance of uh, securing work. And you know, here at Google, we're going to keep on working with the Department of Justice and Equality, with Goshka, with the Working to Change strategy, and hopefully with all of you in order to create that, in order to create that environment. We also work, as I mentioned, with a lot of third parties. And so we're also encouraging all of our partners to, to really participate here as, here as well. And with skills in mind, I'm very inspired by this collaboration between Goshka, the, the President's Award, 
working to change in the Department of Justice, and of course to all of the employers here in the room. Um, it's really great to have you. But anyway, I am merely the hors d'oeuvre. I'm like the cold gazpacho soup as he edges nervously towards the, the primo platy, these two handsome gentlemen here. I've actually been told to slightly to sell them. I think this is at your request, gentlemen. So I was sent, actually, uh, they are called the two norries. Apparently they don't need any introduction, but I'm going to give you one, gentlemen. So I'm going to embarrass you slightly. So James and Timmy, are both from the north side of Cork City, just next to the apple plant, actually, so you can now compare and contrast. Um, they have a very popular podcast, the Two Norries podcast, which I'm sure many of you have listened to. It covers themes across the social and health sphere with a particular focus on addiction, drug use, crime, and recovery. Very inspiring. Um, they started this, actually, as many of us did when habits changed about two and a half years ago. I don't even need to remind you of that event or that set of events. And... Um, they have been a real path of change in the Cork area, in, in, the, in Cork City, County, and increasingly around the country. They've been honoured, well, I mean, actually lads, I'm not even going to read the list, the list of honours. Maybe why not I just shut up and just invite the two Norries to the stage, your host. Place having it <laughs> at Park Accent Street. We grew up in the shadow of Apple computers, and we've never been invited in there. <laughs> I've heard to Google, and uh, I was saying to David beforehand, you know, there's not a there's not a person in this room that doesn't use Google on a daily basis, you know, and the influence that they have, and you know, to, to acknowledge that and use it for positive um, is brilliant. So thanks to Google for hosting. Thank you. Uh, we have a few notes here, thanks to the Gashka team for uh, prepping us, but we're going to go through some housekeeping the day ahead. So, um, there'll be a lot of people in the room here that you'll be familiar with, and a lot of people who won't be. So make it your business to go around and meet as many people as possible. There's some brilliant um, social enterprises, I'm sure, and there's some very important people in here that you might get the opportunity to meet again for another long time. So, you know, it's a really real honour for me to meet be in front of so many of our peers and role models and we're all like-minded people so get to know each other so that's the, the one thing um, Siobhan is there and if you want to talk about the working to change strategy or find out more about that you can have a chat with Siobhan and um, yeah the name badges so the name badges are fairly big aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so that's by design so you can scan that QR code if you want to know a little bit about the person wearing the badge and get the full list of people attending the event and the bios of the speakers. Okay? So like if, if you're curious, I wonder there's such and such a person here, but if you scan that code you'll be able to find out. So that's a handy little feature. But you'd expect nothing else in Google, you know? And if you're on uh, Twitter, because uh, if you're not on Twitter, the event didn't happen, <laughs> use the hashtag GenerationChange22. 22, not TWO. So generation change 22. And you can take it to one of these two if you want. So on the right hand side, we have all the exit, because they have a good pronunciation of the exhibitors, right? They're all social enterprises, and like these companies are all startups as well to be able to employ people from different backgrounds. So make it your business to go over because these companies need your input to keep going and to keep doing what they're doing. So we have a website as well. So it's www.boysocial.ie if you want to see what social enterprises are available. So check them out and don't forget to go and have a chat with them please today because they do fantastic work and they're integrating people back into society by giving them jobs and you know, just helping them to grow and helping them to have skills within our communities and social skills which is most importantly. So give them a try. Speakers include James Brown, the informer, he doesn't sing and he doesn't dance, <laughs> but he is a minister and we're delighted to have him here. <laughs> For a younger generation, you might not get that, but I think we're all, uh, we all know who James Brown is, but we're delighted to have the minister here. And uh, we've had a few Fina Filers on the podcast in the past, and uh, we've had Michal Martin and we've had Mike Mervais coming up, and the uh, Lord Mayor of Cork, so uh, you're very welcome here today. 
Um, our keynote speaker is Chief Commissioner Sinead Gibney from the Human Rights and Equality Commission. I'm really looking forward to hearing her comp contribution on today's topic. And we're going to hear from and celebrate some of the people who support young people in the justice system to participate in the GASHKA Award Programme. This will include presentation of a number of GASHKA Civic Merit, Merit Awards throughout the day. So during COVID, um, all prisoners were locked in their cells, you know, because they couldn't go, you know, contacting everything else like that. So what the prison done, the IPS, they set up a prison channel. So on that channel, there was some health and safety talks and stuff to help people. Our podcast was put on it. There was some meditation put on it and lots of other videos. So um, if, if people just could take that into consideration as well and just be mindful of like all these, all the lads and, and ladies within the prison system, they're really, really, like they're trying to get back into society and whatever opportunities are given their way by any workforce or any companies, you know, it's very hard for a lot of people, particularly including myself, if they're not, if their doors are being closed on them, you know, after trying, you know, doing all these different courses, they'll just turn back and they'll go back into their whole life. So opportunities are really, really needed. You know, so whoever's here today, maybe this is going to be an eye opener for you to really take that step and start employing. So yeah, it's true and um Always pick up. You know when Timmy is speaking. I know when he goes from being the host to speaking from the hand. You know I know the, his body language and I know his demeanour. You know, get a bit nervous. <laughs> so yeah. that after a while that will leave. But that's why James always starts and I come in second. But the reason I have the sheet, you see, I didn't use the sheet in the last one because I was able to flow with it because I knew what it was about. But being dyslexic as well, I could read this for the whole night and again this morning I come up here and I don't even know what I'm saying so <laughs> if, if people are wondering that, that's the reason for that. Right, I usually start and then Timmy has a bit of time to think about what his contribution is. And we ran the Late Late Show a few months ago and uh, we got sponsored suits by a company in Conflict by one more plug. But uh, I, so I said to Timmy, we'd be sort of know about it, we'd give him a social media mention and stuff like that, that was grand. Roy and Tuggery, we met him before and he was meant to start with me, like you always. But Ryan started with Timmy, and Timmy panicked, and he says, What do you think of the suit? Back <laughs> <laughs> from Simply Suits and Dark Things. <laughs> so, so, what happened was, the, the producer she says, When you walk out, no, Timmy, you're sitting next to Ryan, and when I seen the glass of water right here, I said, she, she must have done a bit of background checking me because I get, my mouth goes dry, I get nervous or whatever. So, I sat down and she says, Oh, yeah, the James dude was talking at the stand. So he looked at me and he says, how are you getting on? So I, <laughs> I just jumped straight in there and we started chatting and, you know, it was a, a great chat and, and he was actually very good. Yeah. You know, it was, it was enjoyable, wasn't it? It was. And you know what? Over the last couple of years, the media have been very kind to us. Yeah. You know, we've been on mainstream media. We've been, between the two of us, we've been on the Tommy Herman show, Clareborn Live. Um, we've been on the Late Late Show. We were on Nation the other day. And I know a lot of the lads in Cork prison got to watch that. And that brings me to the last point here before we get into the first video. But like we started this podcast because myself and Timmy have backgrounds like some of the people in the room and some of the people that you work with, you know. And like to go from prison and addiction and violence and that background to the host of this event today is amazing for us, you know. And um, we're just supposed to show that like with the help of the social enterprises, with the probation funded projects, the IPS people. You know, we've had some good prison officers in our lives, some ETV tube clothes. Um, you know, there's a few people in the audience here that would have helped me along the way as well. But we had we had potential, like a lot of other people have potential, but we can only realise that potential with the help of people like yourselves. So thank you very much for everything you do in the sector. So all of us for yourselves, please. I'd introduce the first video, but I said a bit of context. So we started the podcast in June 2020. It was in the middle of COVID. And as Timmy said, there was lockdown in prisons. The prison did a great job, actually, to keep COVID out for a very long time. But um, we started the podcast, and we thought we might be popular in our local neighborhood. So we called it the Two Narries podcast. 
But if we knew we would get so big, we probably would have picked something more generic. Because you kick out to explain what an Ari is. <laughs> so from the north side of Cork, you're an Ari, and that's it. Yeah. But uh, we, we have Mario Rosenstock doing the Ari accent, no one on his radio, which is cool. But um, over the, as the podcast progressed, we got a lot of people contacting us from the Irish Prison Service and probation officers and guards saying that they were getting a huge education around a huge education around um, the topics being discussed and um, would we be able to come into the prisons or stuff like that. So we spoke with Dr Emma O'Regan, yeah. who, would, who would have been to me, psychologist in the Midlands, she had a chat with yourself, Karen uh, McCaffrey, the head of the APS, and between us we were able to get the podcast shown in prison and then we were invited into the prison to record with prisoners. And thanks to Alan Armstrong, he was the press officer at the time, he's gone to the Department of Justice now, so if the new press officer, I'd rather come a conversation with him down the line so we can keep it going. But one of the people we had a conversation with was a traveller man from Sligo in Cork Prison, doing a large sentence, and uh, he got the Gold Goshka Award presented to him by President Michael Higgins, and it was amazing. That was the first time I'd heard of Goshka. And uh, but after that, I was like, he gave his backstory, and um, you know what, we'll just go to the video, yeah. and he can explain himself.